Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach His truth well and that continue to teach His truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few. Brothers and sisters still listening and learning across the globe. This is going to be a very important lesson. I'm not going to have it for too long. Lord willing, it won't be too long. But this is important because, um, as you know, this is a very solemn time we're living in. But through Yahweh Shai, what has He given us? Hope. Okay. We think about what Yahushua went through in that whole period of the Passover. And one of the main things that he went through, because we referred to Egypt, we had to um, eat in haste, okay, and so forth. But we also referred to what Yahushua went for, persecution, okay. Because that's what's also coming as well. So this is what we're getting our minds ready for, prepared for. But I want to let the Akiam know, those of you that have been sincere from the start, that have been fair in the Lord, it's going to go well with you. Those that are pushing that spirit of uncertainty, doubt, death, okay, it's not going to go well with them because that's a sign of those that don't believe, okay. So we're going to go to Matthew 9, Baba Kisha, is it 9? 10, Salakia. We're going to go to Matthew 10 and straight to 28, and it says, 27. Fear not fear them not therefore. So like yeah, I'm on the wrong one. Verse 28. And fear not to them which kill the body. This is Yahawashai speaking to his hopeful elect. He's saying, Fear them not that can kill the body. Esau, two thirds of our own nation. Okay, that wanna make insults, that wanna threat, that wanna intimidate us. Okay, try to intimidate. Okay. Fear them not which kill the body. So this would also refer to Esau's troops. Because a lot of men, they, they talk about that like it ends there. It doesn't end there. Because the scriptures also said there's going to be a standard that's what? Lifted up. Okay, and that standard is going to be the men of the Lord that receive spiritual power. Okay. So men, what I'm trying to show you, a lot of individuals, they're not pushing faith. They're pushing Doubt. Yahweh wants us to have faith. So there's a lot of individuals in this truth that are losing that battle. It's about continually trusting Yahweh Shai. Okay, so fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul. I don't know, some, some individuals will say, well, it's easy for you to say that when you're not in that situation. But hold on a minute. Do you believe that you're of the hopeful elect? If the answer is yes, then that means... You already have the victory if you are of the elect. So why would you say any different? Because some, some of them use Peter as an example three times when Yahweh said, you shall deny me. Okay. Some people use that example. But guess what? The, the elect were made to what? To triumph over this system, to triumph over this man. And if you don't believe that, it's because you don't have faith. So Yahweh Shai told us firsthand, they're not able, they're not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And that's what's going to happen to those that have taken the RFID chip, because it tells you that in Revelations 14 and 9, those that take it shall be burnt up with fire and tormented with fire and brimstone. So this scripture correlates with Revelations 14 and 9, because he's actually going to have people burning. As, as missile food while they're alive that's torment so gee how should i say fear him because who fears who fears men who fears but i just want to say this those who controls the government you may say esau but who controls esau who controls the police force okay who controls the task force it's yahweh shai yahweh shai controls man so knowing that it gives you a higher level of understanding 
If you don't fear you have a shy, then ultimately you're going to fear what man can do to you because you don't fear you have a shy. So therefore you're going to fear the repercussions of what man can do to you. Because you have a shy, when you don't fear him, what does he do? He sends the enemy through every captivity. That's what he's done. Okay? But rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. And that word for hell is what? The earth. Okay? So, Yahweh, he, that's what he's able to do. And that's what, what we fear him. The beginning of wisdom is fear. There's two fears. There's fear of what man can do, which puts you, which, which keeps you still stuck. And there's the fear of Yahweh Shai that what promotes what? Life. Okay? And the reason why individuals are pushing out that spirit, bear me just a minute, is because they know they ain't doing the right thing. They're unconscious. That's why the scripture says, blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him. If you went back into the world and you put your Hawashi aside, of course you're going to be scared. Okay? Because your mind was never in the truth. Basically, you were always just a nigger. Hebrews 13 and 6. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Yahweh is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So you should, nobody in this truth should be pushing out the fear of what Esau can do. Do we speak of persecution, Jacob's trouble, beheadings? Because the scripture said the elect are going to die. But guess what? Those that are put in that situation, they're going to be put in that situation to be able to deal with that situation. Okay? Men are so carnal, they're acting like this is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. You don't know what applies to who at what time but those that have to go through particular things those that are of the elect they're going to be able to what to deal with it because they're of the elect okay pushing that weak weak spirit because you don't believe because you have doubts let's go to isaiah 33 and 14 and this is all over it's all over in great moonstone Men that have been in the street for a long time. What's this whole thing about martyrdom? You know, martial law troops. The, the elect are going to be able to overcome. Let's go to Isaiah 33 and 14. And the reason why men think like that, because they've been doing some backhanded, underhanded shit. And they don't believe Yahweh is with them. So they project that on the whole body. Let's go to Isaiah 33 and 14. The sinners of Zion are afraid so hold on a minute we've all sinned but there's a certain remnant that of the elect their sins are going to be forgiven but it says the sinners of zion are afraid prior to this lockdown prior to all these things happening not being able to go here and there guess what you had a particular group of men in the truth okay that were just taking this for a joke they never thought it would happen this quick that's why men were lukewarm the same men you may see doing videos now, they were nowhere to be seen. Because prior, <laughs> okay, to the lockdowns, it was only the apostles and a few others really doing the work. There was others that would just wait a week to a Friday and they would push out two or three lessons or even one. So the sinners of Zion are afraid. This is who this, is who this pertains to. Okay, why are they afraid? Because they weren't taking this truth seriously. They never really believed. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. So those that are fearful, why? Because they're hypocrites. They're actors. They weren't really about the truth. They were just putting on a show. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Okay. So that's going to be the what the judgment. Again, that's why it says, "Fear him that can kill both. Fear him that can fear him that can kill both body and soul in hell." Yahweh Shai. Okay. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. Okay. And he that despiseth the gain of oppressions. Because some people, they would take money and shake his hands from holding of bribes. Some individuals in this truth have been paid off. They've been given a gift to not speak. Or because the man wants, his, wants to cover his ass. So what? They took bribes. But being a man of integrity, you're not going to take bribes. Because if you take a bribe, you know what that means? That means um, you're going to sell out. Uh, 
If you take a bribe, that's the spirit of a seller. You're taking a gift. And stop if his ears from hearing of the blood and shut if his eyes from seeing evil. And this is what many men have done in the truth. So of course they're going to be afraid. But the elect, they're not to be afraid of the things to come. Okay, they're supposed to be increasing in faith, increasing in character. Why are men doing videos upon increasing in character, increasing in faith? So with this, I hope this was edifying and until the next time. Shut up,